look at here boys and girls we got the diesel auto power parts lined up here AFC kit Governor Springs 120 horse injectors 60 pound valve springs delivery valves and we've also got a turb ski in the box over here super excited for that I need to still order my downpipe for that but other than that we should be pretty good to go we've got pretty much everything we're gonna need for this build right here and then right there in that box, you know, with the turbo. So, I mean, aside from the dual disc clutch stuff, that's going to get done here probably this month as well, as well as paint, you know, tires, stuff like that. But, you know, I'm saying in terms of under the hood, everything's pretty much right here, ready to go. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I'm sitting in the barn here with, of course, Nasty and the dually, and then you already know that's calling to be a good day. We've got some parts here set out some diesel auto power parts, which by the way, this video is sponsored by Diesel Auto Power. Definitely go check them out. Dieselautopower.com, link in the description to their homepage. I get a lot of people that say, you know, I checked their website and they didn't have something for my truck or this or, you know, whatever. Um, a lot of their stuff is still in the developing process. So like, for example, if we call them, sometimes it's not on the website yet, but they still provide the products. So um, if you guys don't see exactly what you need online, don't be afraid to give them a call. Give them a call. They're glad to help you out. They have a whole team specifically for that stuff to pick up the Phone and uh, get you guys set up with what you need so definitely give them a call let them know that I sent you right off the bat just tell them what you need and they will definitely try to get that done and take care for you and get it sent out to you of course we've got the pusher stuff anthem wheels all that stuff you know gotta gotta show appreciation to the sponsors for helping make this stuff possible so um, we're gonna get into installing some stuff here today not sure how much we're gonna get done but I can definitely tell you what we're going to attempt to do. So the first thing I'm probably going to do is remove my intake horn, my pusher intake horn. And then what we're also going to do, we've got an air fuel control kit. We got the governor springs we got to do. We've got ejectors we got valve springs. So, um, and we got delivery valve. So what we're going to try to do, and this is what I'm going to, I think is going to make the most sense is we're just going to start by dismantling everything. And then in this video, normally I would do like one install, one install, one install, one install, but I'm going to try to just kind of go, I mean, I'm not going to rush anything, but I've got a lot of day ahead of me available. And since I'm doing every other day videos, I don't have to like shut down shop at, you know, four or five o'clock to try to go in and edit a video and get up to you by, you know, eight, nine o'clock. So what I'm going to try to do is just take my time and go through some stuff and get done as much as I can. Obviously, if there's some things I want to point out, I'll definitely let you know. But like I said, there's always modification lists in the description below with parts that we use and where we get them. There should be pretty much all the same stuff in the Nasty Reds modification list, but I'm going to start to make the list for the dually here as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to go through and get some stuff installed, and I'll definitely point out some things along the way if I feel it needs to be mentioned. But for now, we're going to get the camera set up, get to installing some parts. So quick moment here to stop the time lapse, kind of explain what I'm doing, because you probably saw an air gun in the engine bay, and you're probably like freaking out. What the heck is he doing with an air gun in the engine bay? Well, this is exactly what I had to do on Nasty Red, and Nasty Red turned out just fine. But these delivery valves, um, this, this first portion, I don't know the terminology for it, so I'm not going to try saying it. But this portion that you have to take off to remove to be able to get to the delivery valve itself, which is down inside right there if this will focus sometime today. This is your delivery valve right down inside there. Uh, but these do not want to come off easy. Like I had a brake bra on there, trying and trying and trying, and it was just, there was no give at all. So this is exactly what I did with Nasty Red. I basically took this, um, took this special socket, which is a special type of socket you're gonna need. I thought I had one in the description of the video that I did this on the first time for Nasty Red or in the mod list, but I don't remember for sure. Anyways, I kind of put it on there and then I just kind of wiggled it down on there just a little bit until I knew it was on there and lined up right. And then I just took a hair and a hammer and tapped it down until it sat down all the way. And then I put an air gun on it on the lowest setting and then just tapped the trigger real lightly until it broke it loose. And then I took it off immediately. 
and then use the socket the rest of the way. That's just the only way I was able to get them off, otherwise you just fight them and fight them and fight them for, I mean, too long and then you're just wasting time. But, you know, that's, that's just what I did, so I just wanted to clear that up so you guys understood uh, why I used it. Gonna be taking a quick break here. I'm just gonna throw a rag over a couple of things here so stuff doesn't fall in. However, there we go. The socket just keeps getting stuck on these delivery valves. Um, so, I mean, I'll eventually get it off. I'll have to find a way, but just keeps getting stuck. When I start running into issues in the shop, since I've not grown up in a shop and that's not what I've done my life, so I'm not like conditioned for it and yeah, that, that type of deal, you know, I just haven't been doing it long enough to understand every aspect of it, but I just, after so many hours, after a handful of hours in the shop, I get to a point where I'm just one of those people, I was like, I gotta walk away from the project and I'll come back in like an hour, you know what I mean? So, anyways, um, I've been working at that, dismantling stuff and stuff that I was doing for about two hours now, and I have to go and get my brother from school, because it is, not today's is not his last day, but tomorrow is. And so, yeah, it's kind of exciting for him, not to mention some other things. We're actually gonna be driving past my school, the last place I ever went to school, which was in eighth grade. Before I started to do online school, it was this school. So I don't know if we're gonna get any kind of looks from people or anything. I haven't been over there in a little while. It's a very rare event. So anyways, I'm gonna go get my brother from school and uh, just gonna take the camera along. went and got my brother from school and just there and back and I actually pulled up in my the last teacher that I had there talked to me for just a quick second and uh, it was cool to see him again I got all the delivery valves swapped out and done so that's all good to go and it went pretty smooth I found out a way to get those get the socket off easier put the socket on this breaker bar okay and I just put the socket in the breaker bar into the socket and I left the breaker bar straight up and I just wobbled it back and forth like this really fast and it kind of like slowly I don't know you kind of wobbled that handle back and forth and you also kept your hand on the base that kind of helped to rock it back and forth for leverage to kind of wiggle that um, socket off of there that was very helpful going from this first one that took me about 30 minutes to all the rest that I got done in probably 15 minutes altogether. Next thing we're probably gonna do is the AFC housing adjustments. And this is a very easy thing to do. All we're gonna be doing is taking the AFC housing out. We're just gonna be swapping it out with, thought you only used one of the two springs, but they sent you two options. Just kinda depending on what your what your intended use was. So we're gonna get that all pulled out here and get that broken down and uh, wrapped up. And that, honestly, I, I was, thought I was gonna be able to do a lot more, but between you know the first job of the delivery valves taking a little while and then going to get my brother and stuff and the day's already dwindling away it's getting closer to actually 6 30 in the afternoon and i like to edit my videos the same day which take a couple hours got to manage time a little bit and also i got i called the tire company again today pain in the butt because they said yesterday they said tires are shipping today and i was like i called them, i said hey you said the tires were shipping yesterday there's still no notification i said I've been very kind, I've been very generous, I've been very polite. I've always been, you know, yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, you know, just like, just good with you guys. I said, but when you order a product that's supposed to be there in seven days and it's been almost eight weeks, I said, that's a little bit of an issue. Um, so I said, if these tires don't ship today, my next phone call won't be so pleasant. And she's like, absolutely. She's like, we, I will make sure they get on the truck within the next hour. So I was like, yeah, I said this time I mean it. I said I've been very good with you guys. I never give any issues with the companies because I'm honestly way too laid back with this kind of stuff. Honestly, like when it comes to talking to these people, like um, I basically get walked on with crappy service sometimes. I just I don't know how what else to do about it. You know what I mean? But I was just like it's it's gotten to a certain point where it's just like this is just unacceptable. So I said if if this isn't shipped today, we have a whole other issue that's gonna be coming about, you know, if I call you, if I have to call you guys again tomorrow. She's like, okay, we will make sure that they get shipped within the hour. So I was like, good, make sure they're out the door so I can get them here by the end of the week. So also ordered more inventory today and I was designing the website some more for the new stuff and it's gonna be so, 
I don't know if you guys understand we're gonna get to the AFC housing here in just a minute, but if you guys understand how excited I am for this giveaway, but I'm mostly excited for the new merch I'm releasing. It's, I've got some funny stuff, like stuff that you would read it and you'd be like, dude, I've gotta have that shirt. That is just, that is just so me. Like, or like, that's hilarious, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of stuff, that's like the type of stuff I've been designing lately because I've already got Team LNP merch and people have been buying it and buying it, buying it, you know, in the past. I'm um, obviously closer to the giveaway. People kind of stopped buying it because they're waiting for the truck giveaway to spend their money. But people always bought the merch and you guys are always super supportive and I always highly, highly appreciated it. But I decided this, I was designing my stuff and I was like, I've already got more, you know, I've already got Loud and Proud and Team LNP merch. I'm like, I need to really focus on some other stuff that's like, humorous that people would want to buy or wear around in public that would be like if anybody roll it like another truck guy read your shirt he'd be like oh dude like thumbs up that is hilarious like that's so funny you know what i mean like that type of stuff like that's a cool shirt that's a, that's awesome you know what i mean so not just like everything be like team lmp or loud and proud and people be like what does that mean you know what i mean like another loud and proud subscriber might know what it means but if they aren't, they'd be like, I don't know what that t-shirt is. You know what I mean? Like, I, it doesn't mean anything to them. You know what I'm saying? So, um, obviously, you guys are buying that stuff. You guys are still supporting me, and that's what matters because that's what fuels the truck stuff, and that's why we're going to be able to do so much more this summer with the truck stuff. It's So much more is going to be happening here. I hope that makes sense. I think you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I'm going to get to setting up the camera and getting this AFC housing thing knocked out. And after that, we should be pretty good for the day. That means that we would have gotten two out of the five things that need done under the hood with these boxes and bags of stuff here. So not too bad for an afternoon. And It has been a good day in the shop, nonetheless. Didn't get done quite as much as I thought I would, but that's kind of automotive project stuff for you, or most project stuff in general. But I'll tell you what we got done. I got the linkage off for the shutoff solenoid to make it easy access to get the governor spring kit installed. Probably in the next video, here's the uh, shutoff solenoid. It's just a two eight millimeter um, small bolts. Just a little pin there you pull out and then the bottom's detached. And then you just take out one eight millimeter. It's real small on the side, it's this one on the side of the linkage. If your linkage is facing like this, it's just that one at the bottom. Uh, you take that out and then the linkage just pops off. It's really easy. Well, that just opens up the access to get to the um, big bolt head that's right there to take that out so you can tr turn over your engine slowly and then center up your governor springs and swap out both sets of those and then that's that's a fairly easy job but today i got the afc housing taken out i did the um, star wheel adjustment since i had already adjusted mine i didn't have to really make more adjustments but i actually backed my, my star wheel off a little bit from what it was because this truck was just smoking a little bit too much it's just going to happen on a 12 valve it's just kind of how it is when you start to mess with fuel it's going to smoke but yeah I, I just i won't know if i did it enough um, until I start to run the thing, but regardless, I mean, it, it was smoking like a dog before, but that's not because of these parts, that's just because I, you know, I janked up with that um, on purpose. So, but anyways, now we've got the delivery valves I installed, the AFC housing springs. Um, then I keep this rag over there because we got birds living in the barn so they don't drop straw or crap down in there. And I got a lot of work to do yet this evening. However, in the next video, hopefully we can get the governor spring kit done. And then, I don't know what else we're gonna be doing, but we do have some other stuff to get done. So I'll just kind of leave that blank because I don't know what all we're gonna be able to get done. But um, yeah, just just more stuff on the dually, more stuff on the dually. Hopefully we can get the dually mostly done this week in terms of power. Probably everything except for the turbo this week, but I can't say that for sure. But we do have injectors, valve springs, governor springs, that type of stuff. So just gonna get more stuff done, but it was a good start to get some of this other, this easier stuff done today while I had some more free time. Definitely be sure and go check out Diesel Auto Power at dieselautopower.com. Use the link in the description, or if you go to purchase from them, somehow in some kind of notes or something on your order, as a side note, just put down sent from Loud and Proud and they'll know what you're talking about. Um, it kind of helps the marketing, it helps out with me to where we're able to move forward with more parts and stuff as we go. Uh, just kind of that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? It, it really helps out when you let companies know where 
you came from so they know where to do business more. That's going to put a wrap on the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. Stay excited for the giveaway coming up in just a handful of days. In about a week, the giveaway will be starting, and it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh, my God.